Good evening and welcome to the Daily Office for uh, Saturday, June the 25th. I'm Brother Bill and this is Night Prayer. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 104, verse 25 to 34. Acts chapter 7, verse 30 to 43. And the Canticle of the Prophet's Prayer from Habakkuk, chapter 3, verses 2 through 4. Our help is in the name of the God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Almighty God, source of all being, we have sinned against you through our own fault in thought and word and deed, and in what we've left undone. For the sake of our Savior Jesus Christ, forgive us all our offenses. Grant that we may serve you in newness of life to the glory of your name. Amen. And may Almighty God grant us forgiveness of all our sins and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. How many are your works, O Most High? Alleluia. Psalm 104. How many are your works, O Most High? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. There is the sea, vast and wide, with its moving swarms past counting, living things great and small. The ships are moving there, and the monsters you made to play with. All of these look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it and they gather it up. You open your hand and they have their fill. You hide your face, they are dismayed. You take back your spirit and they die, returning to the dust from which they came. You send forth your spirit and they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. And may your glory last forever, and may you rejoice in all of your creation. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. How many are your works, O Most High? Alleluia. The lesson is from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7 beginning at verse 30. Now when forty years had passed, an angel appeared to him in the wilderness of Mount Sinai, in the flame of burning bush. And when Moses saw it, he was amazed at the sight, and as he approached to look, there came the voice of the Lord. I am the God of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And Moses began to tremble and did not dare to look. And then the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals from your feet, for the place where you are standing is holy ground. I have surely seen the mistreatment of my people who are in Egypt, and have heard their groaning, and I have come down to rescue them. Come now, I will send you to Egypt. And it was this Moses whom they rejected when they said, Who made you a ruler and a judge? and whom God now sent as both ruler and liberator, though the, through the angel who appeared to him in the bush. He led them out, having performed wonders and signs in Egypt at the Red Sea, and in the wilderness for forty years. This is the Moses who said to the Israelites, God will raise up a prophet for you from your own people, as he raised me up. He is the one who was in the congregation in the wilderness with the angel who spoke to him at Mount Sinai and with our ancestors, and he received living oracles to give to us. Our ancestors were unwilling to obey him. Instead, they pushed him aside, and in their hearts they turned back to Egypt, saying to Aaron, Make God for us who will lead the way for us. As for this Moses who led us out from the land of Egypt, we do not know what has happened to him. And at that time they made a calf, offered a sacrifice to the idol, and reveled in the works of their hands. But God, 
turned away from them and handed them over to worship the host of heaven, as it is written in the book of the prophets. Did you offer to me slain victims and sacrifices, forty years in the wilderness of house of Israel? No, you took along the tent of Moloch and the star of your god Repham, the images that you made to worship, and so I will remove you beyond Babylon. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye. Hide us in the shadow of your wings. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Alleluia, O Sovereign God, I have heard of your redound. Alleluia, the Prophet's Prayer. O Sovereign God, I have heard of your renown, and I stand in awe of your work. In our own time revive it, in our own time make it known. In wrath may you remember mercy. You came from Taman, from Mount Paran. Your glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of your praise. Your brightness was like the sun. Rays came forth from your hand, where your power lay hidden. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia, O sovereign God, I have heard of your renown. Alleluia. O oh, tender God, you have seduced me, and I was seduced. Alleluia. And the Almighty and merciful God, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, bless us and keep us now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.